Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to create a snack bar using Angular Material in Angular. Go and search for Angular Material in your browser and let's go to material.angular.io. Click on the link of the site and then click on get started and check this command ng add add some angular slash material and go to your project path and type npx space and paste the command wait until angular material is installed in your app and then let's go back here uh, let's go to components and search for snack bars it should be right here okay it's right here click on it and we uh, need to actually uh, do some setup and then add one of these guys to our template. Well, this one sounds actually pretty cool. Uh, let's select a view code so we can actually access our code. And this is the HTML part. So let me copy the HTML and paste it inside my own HTML file. All right, as you can see, we get an error, but don't you worry, we're going to fix everything. And inside the TS part, you can see the imports. Uh, we actually need to import all of these guys in, uh, inside our app.module.ts. So let me select all of them. And uh, let's go to our app.module.ts. Okay, and paste them right here. And after we pasted them, uh, we need to add them one by one to the imports. Matt snack bar uh, is the first. Then Matt Snack Bar module. After that, we have a Matt Button module. And then Matt Input module. And the last is Matt Form Field module. Uh, well, we don't need Matt Snack Bar, by the way. Okay, it's not a module. Let me remove it from here. Okay, and from the imports. All right, we're done with the setup. Uh, let me close app.module.ts and uh, let's go back here. And as you can see, we have a constructor, so we need to add it to our components TS file right here. Paste it right here, okay? And after that, we need an open snack bar function. We also need this one, paste it here. And if you hover this error, you can see the quick fix. Uh, which is uh, resolved by importing Matt snack bar. Save the changes and uh, let's go back to the in HTML file. Uh, remove Matt stroked button because it makes the button invisible in some browsers. Instead, add some bootstrap classes like BTN, BTN danger, and uh, I think it's fine. And let's go to our after component.html and add the selector, which is app test in my case to your app.component.html. Okay, and as you can see, if I click on this button, we can see the snack bar. That's all, thanks for watching.